just like to make my first video about an issue I feel is very important to me. Sorry about the windiness, by the way. Can't smoke in my house. My own house, I can't smoke in it. Council rules, in it. So yeah, I'd like to make the first video about an issue that is very sincere to me and amongst other white Europeans. Pacific, white British people, and, and I think specifically white Europeans as well, you know, the white race, the white European race is known for their absolute love and affection of animals. Especially in this day and age. Yes, some animals were hunted to extinction, but never tortured or, you know, hunted sadistically or even killed sadistically like these Orientals do, Chinese Orientals do. I think even if you are not a racist, even if you're not a white wing, even if you're not a white nationalist, whatever, are you really going to be so politically correct that you're going to not criticise people who are, who are absolutely abhorrent and sadistic and barbaric in the way they treat animals due to the fear of not defending them? What about the animals that need defending? Animals don't have a voice, do they? Chinese people, why are you not? Why are you bothered about Orientals? Why are you bothering about not def not f not offending them? Now, at the end of the day, there's 1.5 billion of them alone. Chinese people can talk; they have a voice. We, if we criticise them, they can stand up for themselves. These poor fucking dogs, these poor fucking bats, these poor, fu poor fucking birds and cats, and all these animals I've seen them eat. You know, alive. I've seen them board them alive, skin them alive, eat. I've seen them pick out birds for a bird nest. Little infant birds, but they rip them out of the shell and start chewing on them. Absolutely disgusting. So I think personally, you, you, your morals are no higher than mine. If your if your only concern is not offending a group of people over animals who don't do not have a voice, shame on you. Yes, I am playing the more high ground because I do have the more high ground in this one. As I do in most issues, it is ju isn't just seen clearly because most people aren't awake. But I think most people be awake enough to know that animal abuse, animal cruelty, animal sadism, sadism is wrong and disgusting on all levels. And yes, I imagine there are white British people, white Swedish people, white Americans who abuse animals. But we deal with them people and they're in such a minority compared to these disgusting Chinese Orientals who do these awful things. I could show you two hours of compilation of videos I've been sent randomly within the space of a month, you know. But I don't want, personally, I don't want you to see that. Uh, not because I'm a weak stomach or anything, you know, I've seen pretty, well, pretty nasty stuff on the internet, you know. In terms of murder and whatnot of humans, but when it's uh, animals, you know, I don't know, it just does something to me. It's, and children as well. When it's murder of children, you know, I don't, I don't like that. Children, animals, or or infants, you know, or abortion videos that makes me feel uncomfortable. But we'll get into that another time. But yes, animal cruelty it is absolutely disgusting and. The way these, as I said before, the way these Orientals, Chinese people, treat their animals is absolutely abhorrent. And something needs to be done about it. If we lose out on our big manufacturing, so be it. Are we really that materialistic? We're going to let animals suffer for the sake of these horrible, horrible people? No, we'll put big sanctions on them. We'll stop producing our goods in their countries and give back money and jobs to British workers and pay them a fair wage for a fair day's work. These greedy capitalists are as bad as the communists they are. You know, it's pure greed, they're willing to let animals suffer for the sake of having a cheaper product and cheaper labour in some foreign shithole. Absolutely disgusting. Seriously, something needs to be done about the way these Chinese Orientals treat these animals. It's, it's really wrong. So as I said before, we need to put sanctions on them, we need to stop trading with them, we need to stop giving them aid. Any uh, Oriental country, well any East Asian country, we need to stop giving them aid. 
except for the ones that don't have an animal cruelty issue, I suppose, like, uh, well, Japan does a bit with their dolphin killing, but we'll talk to them about that, and if they agree to stop, we'll trade with them again. But at the end of the day, the Western powers, we hold the wealth, we hold the trade. If we stop trading with these people, they are fucked. Sanctions, my friend. The same sanctions they put on Boers in South Africa, you know, and uh, and British people in Rhodesia will do the same to them, but ten times worse. Because this, in my opinion, is a much bigger bigger issue, you know, than some whites holding land, well, in the land which they founded, which is rightfully theirs, as they built everything there personally. But we'll get into that in another video. Like I said, sanctions need to be put on China and all Oriental East Asian countries. And I think it's going to sound a bit drastic to some, but to me, anything that protects an animal's life, anything that stops an animal suffering, I'll go to any measures possible, even if it means death of humans. But we haven't got to go that far. What we shall do is, Orientals, East Asians, and no nationalities and uh, ethnicities and races of people are known to have poor standards of animal treatment, poor standards of, uh, you know, uh, the way they've, they're known to treat animals. They should be barred from owning any pets. Pet stores should not sell them any pets. Dog owners should, be, dog breeders, cat breeders, any animal breeder should be fined and prosecuted and, in my opinion, jailed under some circumstances if they sell any of these people any pets as I said before in the beginning of the video people can defend themselves they can use their mouth they can use their fists they can use their feet they can use their heads they can use weapons they can use knives rifles pistols shotguns whatever they can defend themselves perfectly fine. Animals can't. They don't have a voice. They can't plead for us. An animal's suffering. It can't, you know, go on the phone now and make a video like I'm doing, can it? It can't send you a message saying, please help me. So we've got to sort this issue out. We've got to sort it out soon enough. End animal cruelty in China, Oriental countries, and quite frankly, all over the world. And the, the, the indigenous, and I will say, the indigenous British people, the indigenous Europeans, the white dysphoria, in America, Australia, and New Zealand, for the small, absolutely tiny, tiny minority that abuse animals, they all receive the same punishment. So it's not racist, it's not prejudice, and they're the biggest scum ever because they should know better. End animal cruelty this instant. I love animals so much. You just, you just don't understand. And before you ask, no, I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian. And do I think there should be reform on the meat industry? Absolutely. The way I would reform the meat industry would be if it increases the price of meat five, ten times. I simply don't care. All animals will be raised free ranged. Free ranged, it will be. That means they live a nice life, and then they're led away and killed with a captive bolt pistol. That's a, a sort of, I don't know how to describe it, but a firearm. Essentially shoots a bolt in the frontal lobe, kills them instantly, no pain. They wouldn't know what has happened. They would have lived a nice life, and then died instantly. And I would absolutely, absolutely, 101,000% ban ritual slaughter, whether it be halal, kosher or other forms of ritual slaughter where they hang the poor animal upside down slit its throat and wait for it to bleed out crying and suffering for up to sometimes an hour disgusting that would be gone that's all i have to say i think I think I've made my point and uh, discussed it in a dig dignified, non-sort of offensive manner. I haven't used any, well, from what from what I remember, I haven't used much or if any at all profanity. 
or any slurs. So you got nothing on me. You got no more high grounds on me whatsoever. End animal cruelty. That's my last words for the video. End animal cruelty. Animals do not need to suffer for your greed and money. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.